Ken in Potomac, Maryland. Must be near that Potomac River. Could you elaborate and rank the contributing factors when a soundstage is recreated? When I play a CD, I assume that the recording mixing technique, the amp, the DAC, and the speakers all contribute to the recreation of the soundstage. But what has the most to do with the recreation of that soundstage? In many reviews, I've seen and read the claims of a wider and deeper soundstage when something is compared against something else. But surely, they all can't be true, or can they? Thank you. Well, that's the $64,000 question, Ken. Um, sound, so let's talk first, what, what is soundstage? Because I know a lot of people watching this channel, and thank you for watching the channel, haven't really experienced a true soundstage. When you take a consumer audio system and you, you've got a little Amazon Echo or you've got a, a, you know, a, a pair of speakers and you've got a receiver, it's very likely you won't get a soundstage. Or if you do, it's going to be pretty much the, the standard 2.5 dimension soundstage. So first off, let's talk about on any system that's a stereo, part of the soundstage is what we call the phantom channel. So you know when we play something and then the singer appears here, right? Or here, wherever the singer is appearing, it's not coming from here and it's not coming from here, it's coming from here. But there's nothing here, right? if you have a two-channel system. Well, that phantom center channel comes when this speaker and this speaker are identical in level and content, okay? When that happens, both ears at the listening position hear the same thing at the same time. And our brain says, oh, well, when that happens, that means somebody's right in front of me, they're in the middle. And we synthesize this center channel. And that's the idea of a sound stage-ish, or that's the idea of imaging, if you will. Okay, sound staging, more directly, is when it's done properly. You don't hear it on a consumer system, it's, and, and you don't have to have this big fancy system that we have, right? You can get sound stage. We, we sell a little package called Sprout and a pair of ELAC speakers, and I think the whole package is like $1,000 or something and take that, set it up properly. I have a little book out there uh, called The Audiophile's Guide and just follow the instructions in that and you can set up a system that sound stages beautifully. And what does it mean? It means that no sound comes from the speakers, it all comes from behind the speakers in a sound stage, if you will. So the musicians are back here and that sound stage is a combination of setup of the speakers, the speakers themselves, their revealing characteristics, the quality of the electronics, and the recording. So all of those have to sort of work. Now, I would say if we have reasonable equipment, doesn't have to be super spectacular. If we have reasonable equipment, setup of that equipment is the single largest contributor to soundstage. It's one of the reasons I wrote the book, The Audiophile's Guide, either the loudspeaker or the stereo. Either one of those books will show you how to set up a system to create a soundstage, to make the speakers disappear and to create that soundstage behind there. So whether you get The Audiophile's Guide off of Amazon or you go to psaudio.com and grab it, there is a disc that goes with it that isn't available on Amazon. I know people get confused, like, well, the books are available on Amazon. Right, they are. But you really need the disc that goes with it because there you use that for setup. You, put, you play this, you get that, and okay. So probably better to go to psaudio.com, pick yourself up a copy of that. But the point I'm making on this is that setup is probably 70% of it. Once you have it set up properly, I think the next most important thing to sound staging is the recording itself, which is 
one of the reasons we created octave records. So when you buy an octave recording, you know the sound staging is going to be correct. Okay. So now we have setup. We have a great recording with correct sound staging. The third thing is the electronics. You need to have decent electronics in order to come up with all the correct phase information and things that make it all work together. And when you have all of that done, set up great recordings and good electronics, it's an amazing experience. Most people have never experienced it. Routinely jaws drop when they show up here. It's like, that is bizarre. I have more. <laughs> More people than you can imagine. See these diffusers back here? They think those are the speakers. They don't, well, these white things are sitting here, I don't know, but they think those are the speakers because nothing comes out of the speakers, or it doesn't sound like it. It all comes from behind here. And those are the elements that make up a great soundstage. So, hope that helps. Thanks for the question. Talk to you tomorrow.